Level 3 Basic Word Labels teaches the concrete foundational concepts that objects have names. This level teaches common nouns such as animals, body parts, clothing, food, and other words found in a student's environment. Students also begin to differentiate at this level. They learn the difference between the four-legged creature labeled dog and the four-legged creature labeled horse. Categorization and sorting of first concepts begin here as well. An apple is round, a ball is round, but an apple is not a ball. Gains in receptive language build cognition and are needed for expressive speech. Many parents make the common mistake to race through this step in their hurried conversational speech. It is crucial that when your student does start to speak that they have something to say that is meaningful to them. A large repertoire of these concrete objects and ideas will ensure that your student is able to communicate effectively. It is recommended that a student has 200 to 300 of these word labels before advancing to the next level. And once he or she has advanced, you revisit level 3 to constantly increase the student's knowledge base. You may want to start with basic objects that you see every day, or add in unusual but well-loved things. Body parts are necessary but can be boring for many students. Adding in animal names, heavy machinery, or toys can break up the monotony while maintaining the flow of teaching. To generalize, make sure to point out and name the items from your session in your everyday life. Repeat the words slowly and singularly without adding additional language or embellishments that could be confusing. You may select common, everyday objects that will generalize quickly to functional speech, but don't forget to add some high interest and motivating ones too. For example, many boys love heavy machinery and will be more inclined to attempt vocal speech by saying asphalt paper than book or spoon. Don't worry that the word may not appear to be as useful. Every new word label a student learns improves the function of his neurological language center. At this point, we just want the students to learn as many words as possible, and the more motivating, the easier for everyone involved.